Because corruption allegations don't come every day, this week's events have people talking from constituents all the way to City Hall. Joining us now to add some perspective is UC political science professor David Niven. And David, we were talking on the phone and, and we were talking about the rarity in Cincinnati, but not necessarily in the state of Ohio. Unfortunately, that's very true. We've had state legislators mm -hmm. trade their votes for money. We've had numerous local officials, even all the way down to the township level, who've put their hand in the, in the township funds and, and taken them for personal gain. Um, just this year, the sheriff of Pike County um, you know, was charged with honest services theft, basically taking money from the public, using it on his own behalf. So this is not something that was invented here today, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the lesson that you take across these examples are sure. people whose lives get a little bit out of control and typically think no one will ever know what they've done. Yeah. We always hear about transparency, mm -hmm. transparency, transparency. Public trust is everything in politics. So how does the city council rebuild that trust? I think there's really two things they can do. One is go beyond the letter of the law. If you're allowed to take $1,000 campaign contributions, limit yourself to $500 contributions. You know, if you are uh, holding meetings with interests, disclose those. We've had several U.S. senators who disclose how they spend their entire day and every interest that they meet with. So one challenge for the council, go beyond the letter of the law and be open. Second challenge is change the law. Mm -hmm. They could, for example, create a system where uh, council members could be recalled if you know, their behavior is not up to standard. They could lower campaign contribution donations. They could bar those with interest in front of the city from participating in campaign contributions. So those are really the two ways because you can lose trust in an instant. It takes you know, a lifetime to build, but you can lose it in a moment. Certainly a good point. Thank you for joining us, David Niven. We always appreciate My it. My pleasure.